And we're live. I am making the Twitter post right now. Give me a un momento. Ignore Pepsi in the background doing God knows what. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? What's your MO, huh? I should point out that she, um, she wasn't doing this like 10 seconds ago. So it's just something she's doing for the camera, I guess. All right, uh, making that Twitter post now. We are live giving away $2,000 in tech uh, for Newegg's Fantastic sale, in case you were mispronouncing that. Fantastic. Get it? Fantastic. It's plain words. Okay. All right. I feel like I don't need to emphasize that any more than I already did. I'm going to click the tweet button, and we are good to go, folks. All right. How does it sound? How does it sound? We sounding good? Oh, I'm coming through my own speakers. That's awkward. How are we doing? I just want to make sure that the audio is fine before we dive into this. You can see I already have the Newegg wishlist sale, uh, sales up here. So this is a wishlist I put together myself. I want to emphasize that this by no means uh, was paid for by any of the companies you're going to see here. This is a Newegg sponsored live stream, meaning Newegg said, hey, we want to throw some money at you. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, and uh, we want you to promote our fantastic sale. So I said, well, let's go ahead and just give a ton of money away to our viewers. And you're going to see uh, throughout this live stream, many giveaways. And you can uh, actually join by clicking the link down below. There's actually a few links down there. One of the links takes you to the page you're seeing right here, and that's the Fantastic Sale Wishlist. It's the one I put together again, uh, but none of these companies, again, have paid me any money to show any of the products you're seeing here. In fact, a lot of companies aren't even included in this list. I just found deals that were actually still in stock because this deal's been going on for an entire day at this point. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, now that we have the fine details out of the way. Uh, you can find, again, this wish list in the description. You can find the uh, the enter giveaway link. We're using a, a website called Rafflecopter. It's the first time I've ever used it, but apparently it's pretty simple to do. And I think what we're gonna do, because if you look right here, it says that our subtotal of items is $2,071. Uh, and for those who are wondering, I didn't say this yet, if your country is listed in the link that is uh, in the video description, that top paragraph there, there's a link at the bottom of that paragraph, and it says countries of residence eligible for these raffles can be found here. Click that link, and it will show you the countries eligible. If you live in one of those countries, you're good to go. If you don't live in one of those countries, and you enter anyway, and you happen to win something, you will not win anything. Instead, I will have to roll that money over into some future giveaway. So don't ruin it for people who are eligible. This is just how it is, okay? Uh, and I don't want to hurt the chances of someone else winning if uh, they actually are in a country that is eligible. So, and, and to be honest, I'm surprised Newegg has this many countries. Like, it's pretty awesome that they're uh, able to reach this many. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and open this up just so I can show you. Um, let's see here. If I do this, copy, paste that. All right. Slide this over here. I'm an incog, just in case I do anything stupid. Uh, yeah, so you can see Newegg Global, all of these countries apply. There are many. And uh, if you are one of them, then you're eligible to win something. And again, all you got to do is click that giveaway link. It takes you to Rafflecopter. You enter email address. The only thing I'm requiring from you guys, you don't have to subscribe. You don't have to like the video. You don't have to do anything just outlandish, just send your email, and I only need that so I can email the winners, because I would not have a way to contact you otherwise. So uh, that's the only reason I'm even asking for that. So this isn't some data mining thing. I'm not trying to get huge followers or whatever. It's just a fun giveaway uh, that uh, Newegg and Science Studio have decided to put together for you guys. So if you want to thank anybody, thank Newegg for making this happen. Uh, and uh, yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and close that one out. And we're going to start with the first item. Now, my plan is to give away Every one of these items, it comes out to about a little over $2,000. We'll dip into Science Studio's budget for the, the $71 difference, not a big deal. Uh, and the way this is going to work is, so let's let's start with the first one, just so you guys get an idea. So this is a Ryzen 5 3600, right? And uh, I'm showing you a close-up of the box. There you go, in case, in case you were wondering what the box looked like. Uh, this is going to be the first thing I wanted to show you guys, not necessarily because it's a good deal per se. There's not like a discount off the MSRP, but it is in stock. And at 200 bucks, I think it's a really compelling offer. This is essentially an 8700K from Intel, but hyper discounted. Uh, and you can actually pair it with some cheaper boards and still get overclocking support. So I've linked, uh, I think I have at least one or two B450 boards. You will need a small BIOS update more than likely. 
uh, and you can get dud CPUs from AMD, uh, and we've linked that in past videos. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna start with this one, and uh, not necessarily because it's like an epic deal, but because it is actually in stock and it's at MSRP, which is pretty awesome. Some sites are trying to sell it for a little more. You can buy it here on Newegg for $199.99. So what we're going to do is to demonstrate how this will work. I have no idea this is gonna work well or not. Uh, <laughs> actually, uh, let, let's just try it. I do have the giveaway raffle thing. Let's refresh the page. See how many people have entered. 956 entries. All right. Uh, so about a thousand entries. And by the way, if you post more than once with multiple emails, we know your IP. We know you're doing it. If you multiple, if you multi-post, you're gonna be disqualified. So don't don't ruin it. It's gonna be pretty obvious on our end to figure out who did that. Uh, and we will review these after we announce the winners. So if I find out that the same person won two uh, different things from two different email addresses, then that person won't win anything and will instead give that money or those products to other people who entered. And we'll have the list saved for after the live stream as well. So just uh, a heads up. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to manipulate the system. Sorry about that. Okay, so I know you can't see what I'm looking at here, but I do have the entries. I don't wanna show personal info. This is their personal email addresses and their names. Uh, but what I'm going to do, and, so, and you might see them in the stream, like they, they might actually end up chatting like, that's me, whatever, you know, something like that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to pick a winner at random, all right? And I do that by clicking this one button here. I, I don't know, Let, let's, let's just, let's, let's try it. Add a random winner. Okay, the first winner is Kyle, Kyle H. And uh, yeah, I got your IP. That's another reason why I don't want to show this live. Uh, but uh, okay, cool. So I'm going to make a note of this IP and there's my notepad. So I'm going to jot this name down, Kyle H. Uh, last name ends in an O, in case you're wondering. Actually ends in bro, B-R-O. Uh, so I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna make a, a note of your IP. And you, sir, have won a Ryzen 5 3600. So if your name's Kyle H and you're in the chat, congratulations. That's pretty awesome. That's the first giveaway. That's how it's gonna work. We're gonna do one of these at a time and I'm gonna give it away right then and there, okay? So you don't have to wait till the very end of the live stream to, to see who won everything. It's gonna be a progression, all right? And bear with me, there will likely be technical issues. This is the first time I've ever done something like this. Uh, and I'm not sure if this is the first time Newegg's ever been on th this side of it either, but uh, hopefully it's entertaining for all of you guys. And uh, look, if you don't win, by the way, I see I'm peaking just slightly. I'm gonna turn myself down just a little bit. If I'm too quiet, then I'll, I'll turn myself back up. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you don't win, I still encourage you guys to check out these deals. They're they're actually, some of these deals are, are really good. They're so good to the point where I actually bought some of this stuff. Some of these drives, some of this RAM that I uh, will show you guys is really cheap. DDR4 right now is really cheap, really compelling, fast RAM as well. Uh, so we'll get through all that. Anyway, I have uh, Kyle H's IP listed here. And again, this is how I'm gonna confirm that you're not double posting. So don't double post or don't double, in, don't double entry. You know what I mean, what I'm trying to say, anyway. All right, I'm going to mute my phone so that doesn't happen again. And yeah, we're gonna move on. So Kyle H wins the Ryzen 5 3600. Cool, cool, all right. And we're gonna move on to the next thing. Okay, next thing is, this is, this is how you pronounce it in German. Geil, I think is how you say it. My wife is German, so I should know this. <laughs> Geil, super loose. I don't know how to say that loud word there. Super loose RGB sync. That's what I've always said. I've owned uh, Gauss Super Loose DDR4 before. Uh, not these particular modules. These are the RGB modules. But check it out. Look at sixty-two dollars. Now look, folks. If you need a if you need a pair of DDR4 uh, dims and you're on the fence about it, you were on the fence about it because of price. And then you look at this and you say, Wow. Oh, sixty-two dollars. I should buy that. And you don't happen to win the giveaway that we're about to do for this thing. Then look. Pick it up, 62 bucks, okay? And use our link, it gives us a small kickback. It's an affiliate link that would help us out tremendously. And it would tell Newegg that we're doing a good job promoting this. Because remember, this is sponsored by Newegg after all. Uh, and the reason why we're giving away $2,000 worth of tech is because of Newegg. So do them a solid shop during the fantastic sale. And I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed, uh, especially with like DDR4 like this. I mean, $62 is dirt cheap. And uh, check that out, look at that cash timings. Not the best timings, let's be honest here. 16, 18, 18 is not super good. 
good, but you still get nice and fast 3000 megahertz uh, frequencies there. So uh, I would say, you know, the cast of 16, the timings are okay. They're not super tight, but um, obviously when you increase frequency, uh, your timings are going to go up as well. You want to have really tight timings or really high frequency, preferably both. Uh, but I would say this would still be good for really any modest or uh, semi-expensive Ryzen or Intel rig. Uh, and if you're building a white-themed rig, then especially, these are going to look really good. I think the modules I had from Guile were black, but but they also had the RGB strip up top, so still looks good. I might have even I might have even had white ones at some point. I'm not sure. But they had a, it was just a blue LED, not the RGB thing you got going on there. So uh, again, if you want to find the, the links to any of this stuff, click in the video description our wish list link that will take you to my new egg wish list link, uh, my, my new egg wish list, I should say. Uh, and that will give you a heads up of all the products we're going to be showing here and giving away. So uh, this is Pretty good price again, and I'm gonna stop. <laughs> let's see, let's just click the DDR4 3200 one. Yeah, so it goes way up in price. That's what prices used to be. <laughs> so I would say to, and these timings are still pretty much the same. So just slightly faster, same timings. But uh, yeah, if you drop down to 3000 here, you're saving a hundred bucks. <laughs> I mean, that's not technically how you should look at it, but still, that's a really good deal. And we're gonna give this away right now. So let's try to, yeah, let's do this at a, Random winner. All right, we're gonna click. We're gonna click this again. Someone says microphone is resonating. Oh, uh, let's try to fix that. Um, turn that down. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure why that's. Sorry, I was coming through one channel there just at one point. Now oh, we're better. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's, uh, why it's resonating. That's really weird. It's really weird. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just something that, I hate to say it, but y'all are probably gonna have to deal with for this stream. Uh, I can't hear it on my end. I don't have headphones. Actually, I, I have a pair, well, they're in the closet. Um, anyway, if it's that bad, you guys just yell at me in all caps. But if, if it's tolerable, we'll just deal with it for this live stream and I'll address it later. Anyway, we're gonna add another winner here. So who's gonna win a pair of Guile Superloos Dims? Here we go. Clicking random winner, and that person is Mohammed M. And your email address ends in 589 at gmail.com. I am Pepsi, what are you doing? Pepsi is doing something weird. So, Mohammed M, if that is you, you have just won a pair of super loose dims from Guile. And uh, I'd say these are pretty good. So, I'm going to do the same thing I did before open up my notepad here, and we're going to do the whole typing in the name thing. And try not to say names out loud because it's kind of tempting to do that while I'm writing. Guile, that was a super loose DDR4 RGB. And I have your IP here so I can track and make sure we're not getting double entries. Pepsi, she wants to go out. Let me let her out real quick. Go, go out. Uh -uh, come on, go, go. Hey, yay, yay. You watch, she's gonna walk back in here in about five minutes. Okay, so I have the IP down, so we're good to go. This is just insurance for you guys. I wanna make sure that you don't uh, double post. It keeps it fair for everybody, or double enter, I should say. So uh, yeah, look, if you didn't win this, but you're still wanting a pair of dims that look really good and that are really fast for a great price, check this out. Again, click that wish list link in the video description and buy yourself a pair. I mean, look, if you, even if you win something else in the stream, you can still pick up these deals. Like there's nothing keeping you from doing that. Uh, and there's no telling how long some of these deals will last. So uh, again, yep, yeah, there's my uh, there's my plug for these modules. And I can 100% condone these guy modules. They are really reliable. I never had issues with the pairs that I had uh, and really good price again. All right, moving on. We have another, I'm actually going backwards here. So I created this list and like it would stack them as I created them. So. It actually kind of went backwards. Anyway, I'm not uh, not gonna freak out or anything. 
All right, so the next thing we're going to be giving away, and we're also going to showcase here, is the Fantex Eclipse P350X. Fantex, again, none of these companies have any idea I'm including any of this stuff. No one paid me to do any of this, except for what Newegg is sponsoring for the giveaways. Uh, but uh, we have the Fantex Eclipse P350X here. I have reviewed this in a dedicated video. Not sure if you guys have seen that or not, but it's technically around 60 70 bucks most of the time. You can get it now in the mid-50s USD, and I think that is a, a really good value for this case. You get that integrated RGB check out those RGB lines. It's actually really subtle, uh, but it's enough to where you see it and it catches your eye and you're like, wow, oh, that actually looks really good. And at the same time, sorry, I can get the mic out of the camera shot there. Yeah, there we go. I'm a little picky. I'm trying to, trying to do it. Uh, and at the same time, you get that uh, customizable, uh, customizable control, there we go, up top. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. Probably not. Anyway, yeah, there we go. That's cool. Yeah, so you can see you got the RGB integration there. And that's really nice. And you get all of it for, what, 55 bucks. So I think this is a really good deal. This is the black exterior, white interior. Let's see, is it black one? Yeah, see, the black one's normal, 69 bucks. You could get it for 60 with a $10 rebate. If you want to wait for the rebate, that's cool and all, but you could just get straight up right now, $55 case. Uh, the P350X, more precisely, is a really good case, even at 60 or 70 bucks. But at $55, if you want to build an ATX case, or an ATX PC, then uh, this is it. Airflow is not too bad either. It's not going to be the best for airflow, but in my testing, it's also not the worst. You can see we've got these big side grills on the left and right that are uh, rather permeable, so it's not too bad. All right, who's going to win a case now? Let's see Yeah, I'm going to swing on over to our giveaways, and I'm going to click another random winner. Here it goes. Cross the fingers. Cross the fingers. Or whatever else you want to cross. And another winner is Armando K., all right, and um, the Gmail ends in vin at gmail.com. So, and it's not, his last name's not Kevin, in case that's what you're wondering. Uh, but it's Armando K, okay. and I have your IP here. So, Armando, if you're watching this stream, you just won a Fantex Eclipse P350X courtesy of Newegg. Check that out. And I'm going to type that in like so. I'm also going to, you know what I didn't do was include the email so i'm gonna type that in as well for each of these fellas who want something okay and do the same for muhammad who won the ddr4 also let's see yeah okay okay cool and uh, IP, that's the other thing I wanted to make sure. This again is insurance for you guys. Make sure that nobody is double entering and it's fair for everyone. I really like that this website shows us IP. So it's really convenient, I think, for, uh, for people who want to track this stuff and, and want to keep it under wraps and make sure that nobody's taking advantage of the system. Okay, and I'm gonna type in this email. That way I know who I'm sending this to. Good. All right. Make sure I spelled that right. Okay. There's also an archive here. So there you go. Congratulations, Armando. You won yourself Fantex Clips P350X. If you guys have not won anything so far, but you're interested in some of the stuff you're seeing here, click our affiliate link down below and get started. You can shop on our wish list. And uh, yeah, it does me a solid and it helps out Newegg as well. Of course, Newegg is sponsoring this entire video. So uh, you can thank them for the $2,000 worth of tech that we're giving away. And we're going to move on to the next thing now. Not holding back, folks. All right, what do we have here? This is a B450M. Now, I chose this because it's actually a pretty decent price. Now, look, it's kind of a bare-bones motherboard. I mean, let's be honest here. It's not like a top-of-the-line X470, X570 godlike from MSI, right? But on a budget, this will do just fine. In fact, with uh, that 3600 that, uh, that Kyle won, uh, this motherboard would, in my opinion, be just fine for that. It's a low TDP chip, what, 65 watts thereabouts, and uh, it's got, I would say, mediocre power delivery, but for 60 bucks, I ain't gonna complain. All right, so you guys see what I'm saying? So that is, uh, that, that's my explanation for this. It also helps me keep 
everything under the $2,000 budget. I'd rather give away more things that are slightly less valuable than a few things that are really expensive. So I could have picked an X570 board for 300 bucks, but uh, I wanted to give you guys more options, more um, chances to win something. And look, I mean, it's just something to get you started. The worst case, you get this product and you flip it on Craigslist or eBay or whatever. I don't care. You know, it's, it's, it's whatever. But uh, it's an option. And if you are looking to get into AM4 and you haven't bought a motherboard or CPU yet, this could get you started. So uh, there's that. And 60 bucks, I think it's a pretty good deal. It's one of the cheapest B450 boards I've seen. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be, let's see here, supports up to what, 3200, 3466 megahertz DDR4, so that's plenty fine there. And uh, I can see, what do we have here? What's uh, What do our ports look like? DVI-D, USB 2, PS2 ports, you guys got them PS2 ports in there. That's a, that's a, that's a necessity for some people, can you believe that? But it's still a thing, I mean, it's still a low latent gaming. Uh, we got the VGA port as well, and an HDMI port, so if you wanna run something like a 3400G or a 2400G, not a problem with this board. Again, you will need a BIOS update if you wanna run Zen 2 natively. Uh, but uh, apart from that, I think this will be plenty for anything around a 65 watt TDP. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna drag it on anymore. We're gonna swing back over here to the giveaway tab and we're gonna be giving this away. So here we go, here we go. All right, the winner is, bum, bum, bum. I need to like overlap music here, Caleb A. And the Gmail account ends in A-C-K, A-C-K at gmail.com. Caleb A, you are the winner of the MSI Pro B450M. It's an MATX motherboard. I didn't say that earlier, so it's a slightly smaller form factor than ATX. But there you go, B450 chipset. I mean... Mediocre power delivery, let's be honest, but still, it's going to get you by with a 65 watt TDP chip, something in that range, and 60 bucks, I think, is a really good deal. So, if you guys are looking for an intro B450 a motherboard, then this should be one you consider, in my opinion. And uh, I got nothing against MSI. I think that these boards are rocking it. Just be a little weary of the BIOS updates. Uh, some of those are still a little rough. People are having hit or miss. Uh, experiences with those so far so if you have Zen plus then this would be perfect for it but uh, if you have Zen 2 and you're waiting for a stable BIOS you might want to hold off just a little bit it all depends you might want to just go with x57 if you want something now and you want something totally stable and you have the money for it but uh, we'll see this one's still plenty so Caleb a congratulations you have a 1a MSI motherboard I'm gonna write down the Gmail email uh-huh, uh-huh, gonna write down that IP, just to make sure that you guys are not double entering, mm-hmm, I don't know what's going on here. Alrighty, uh, someone asked if it's American only. This is not American only. Read the description. That's what I can do. The description's there for a reason. Read that, and it'll answer your questions, hopefully. Alright, here we go. Uh, we're gonna move on to the next thing, and that happens to be an HP X920. Now, I must confess, I do not have any first-hand experience with this particular drive from HP. Eh, kind of a, maybe a spotty pass with some SSD. Some SSDs from them not lasting too long, but uh, in this case, the reviews look good, and that's why I decided to include it. So I'd be willing to put my reputation behind it for uh, the most part. And this is a 512 gig PCI 3. It's a four lane NVMe, so that's awesome. And it's only 55 bucks for half a terabyte. I think this is a really good price for an NVMe drive. Uh, so we're going to, let's see, I'm gonna show you the reads and writes here. Check that out. So the reads are really fast up there toward the top in terms of reads, pretty much maxing out that, um, that interface. And then the writes, they're, they're okay. I mean, this is way better than like an SS, like a SATA SSD, right? But uh, still, I think really good for the price. I do want to compromise on my rights to, to this extent to keep the price under 60 bucks. I mean, anything in the $60 price range for a four lane NVMe is pretty incredible in my opinion. And uh, let's see, Steven Andrews in the chat says, I have this M.2 in one terabyte and it's fantastic. Awesome. Look, I would say just make sure you have adequate cooling for this. Put a heatsink over it, something like that. Make sure you get at least some passive cooling going on because uh, well, I'd say passive. I would put a fan in your case. I wouldn't want this thing heating up to the extent where it throttles. I don't think this is gonna throttle too hard though. And again, most motherboards that have M.2 ports will have at least something on top of it uh, that will uh, allow some of that heat to be soaked into that instead of the drive itself. <clears throat> so, looking mighty fine here. And again, 55 bucks. I mean, he's gonna, uh, I'm not gonna complain about that. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this one away, folks. This is, uh, we're just moving through here. We're gonna click the add a random winner button. And let's see, Austin C. Austin C is the 
winner of the HPEX 920M.2 half a terabyte drive. Congratulations, my friend. That's Austin C. The email address ends in PE4, Austin C at gmail.com. Congratulations, Austin C. I'm going to write your name down. C. I'm going to uh, make a note of who won what. Uh, we have the let's see, Armando won the Fantex P350X. Uh, Caleb A won the B450M motherboard. And Austin C just won the HPE X920. EX920 M.2. That's NVMe M.2, which means it's going to be much faster than your typical SATA M.2. Put that in parentheses so I don't confuse myself. Got a nice little system going on here. And uh, Austin C's email address. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. And then his IP. So I make sure. Again, I'm going to say this every time so no one's like, why is he looking at his IP? I'm doing this so to make sure we don't have double entries. Uh, multiple entries from the same person, I should say, the same location. And there we go. Okay, now we're going to be moving on to the next thing. By the way, guys, if you're looking for an M.2 drive, I mean, this is it right here, 55 bucks. It's one of the cheapest M.2 NVMe drives that I found on on a on Newegg or Amazon, for that matter. Um, so uh, Newegg, I've noticed, has really good deals when it comes to memory, RAM, uh, just storage memory, doesn't matter. Uh, this is a, a really compelling price here, and the ratings reflect uh, a, a pretty solid product overall. So even if you didn't win this, but you're looking for one, click our wish list link down below, and that'll take you to uh, to the wish list that we're going through right now. You can click on that. It's an affiliate link. It gives me a small kickback, and it tells Newegg that you appreciate Newegg for having this product up there. It's such a good price and uh, all right here we go moving on to the next thing this is actually a monitor I didn't expect to be giving away too many monitors um, this is the only one actually in the list I'm pretty sure and the reason why I chose it first off it's 190 bucks so that's come on I mean, that's that's cheap right uh, give me one second here ba, 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 ba. okay so I had let's see like my brother's like spraying cologne or something. I don't know what that spraying noise was. Uh, this is the Scepter C275B. Now I must confess, I do not have firsthand experience with this particular monitor, but it's got pretty good reviews on Amazon, especially for the price. It's a budget monitor. Like, look, it's a TN panel. It's not gonna be that great. Response times are okay for this uh, price point here. Five millisecond response time. Shouldn't see too much ghosting, uh, although I can't speak from firsthand experience here, but I can say that that refresh rate and that resolution is pretty baller for the price. So this is a 144 hertz gaming panel. It is actually a curved panel, so I'm not sure if it's a 1800R or if it's 3000R. Let's see if they listed it here. Not seeing the curve ratio. Uh, yeah, I don't see it there. But anyway, here are the specs. So pretty decent viewing angles for the technology. AMD FreeSync compatible. Oh, there it is, curvature radius, 1800R. So there you go, pretty, uh, I'd say that's the industry standard for this kind of stuff. And decent brightness, dynamic contrast, right? this kind of stuff I would usually take with a grain of salt. It's gonna look different in person for really every panel, including those from the same manufacturer. But uh, you get that 144 hertz refresh rate. Um, and well, that's that's the vertical refresh rate. But anyway, um, I think it's a good monitor for the price. I mean, what, can I, what can I say here? Uh, so, yeah, someone said, you had your mouse right over it. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to do like 10 things at once, I'm sorry. I found it though, I found it. Beyond Gaming, AMD FreeSync, 144 hertz refresh rate. That's, they say three millisecond response time here. So that's kind of where this, uh, I wonder if this one's true, or if the one new it has linked is true. But either way, it's it's not gonna be the best, it's not gonna be one millisecond, but it's gonna be decent. And uh, yeah, all right, not gonna drag this one out too much more. Let's see, what do we have port-wise? Do we have a port selection here? I'm curious about that. We have, one HDMI that supports 144 hertz, and then the second HDMI supports 120, and then we have one display port, and of course that'll support 144 hertz. So HDMI or display port is good with this panel. That's good to know for whoever wins this, in case you're wondering. You do also get a $5 promotional credit card, or gift card, uh, with purchase. That's not really like a huge dent in the price, but the price is already super competitive to begin with, so yeah. And look, even if this wasn't, like, I should disclose this. Just because I'm showing it here doesn't necessarily mean that it's like, 
a, a deal that's unique to only Fantastic Sale, right? So it's not just, um, sometimes you might find this like outside of New Egg's Fantastic Sale for uh, 190 bucks, right? So I'm not saying it's a Fantastic Sale exclusive. It might be, I don't know for sure, but I know that the price is really good as is. So if I include it, um, yeah, I'm just picking it because I happened to find a product that I thought was a decent deal that would interest you guys. All right, here we go. Swinging on over here to random winner clicking it now and we have Greg W. It's a good name Greg. It's a good name. Greg W. The email ends in X uh, sorry ox1 at yahoo.com if that is you Greg then you my friend have won yourself a Scep uh, scepter 275b monitor. All right dude all right ba -ba -ba -ba. here we go type in Greg's name uh-huh, uh-huh, that's the monitor, C275B. I'm going to write the email address down so I can email you after the live stream ends. It's going to be a lot of emails here. I didn't really think that through. Uh, and then we got the IP. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And, uh, of course, that doesn't match any of the other ones, so you are not a double entry. And awesome. Awesome. Doing all right, folks. Here we go. Here, someone says it's rigged. <laughs> there's nothing rigged about it. Chances are, if you're watching, you've entered, and there's only, what, about two, 3,000 people watching? Kyle, what are you doing? Stop making noise. You're, like, banging stuff in the kitchen. I mean, you should just sit down. <laughs> just sit down and go to sleep. It's, like, 6.30. <laughs> it's my brother, so I give him crap for nothing. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations, Greg. You won that Scepter 275B. And, uh, yeah. So, something to consider. Like, even if you didn't win, you can check it out in our wish list link in the video description. Moving on now. We have another case here. And this one is the PC-011 Dynamic Razor Edition. Now, the 011 Dynamic is typically about 100, 120 bucks. But this one is the Razor Special. We have built in it. We did showcase it. I believe it was at... Ooh, I don't know if it was, I think we first saw it at CES, I want to say. Of course, they had it at, actually, no, they had it at Computex before that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. And this case is a beautiful look. I'm rocking the 011 Dynamic right now. This is the black one in my personal rig, my editing rig. And the Razor Edition just makes it look bling bling. Now, I'm not saying you have to get this particular one. You could also get the, the regular black or the, even the white 011 Dynamic. I really don't care. Again, Lee and Lee has no idea I'm including their products in this video. But for 140 bucks, there's a pretty solid discount here. Uh, they do have like, it's kind of weird. So I'll show you the, uh, the white one. And you can see typically about 120, 130 bucks, right? Uh, but if you come over here to the black one, you have multiple options. You can get the black standard is $120. You can get the Air RGB, slightly different front. Also comes with these, uh, they call them Bora fans, I believe. And then uh, just the regular Air is $100. Uh, so if you're interested in that, you have that for $100 here on Newegg. And then you can also click the O11 Dynamic Razor Edition, and that's $139.99. I think it's a really good price for the Razor Edition. And look, it's just a beautiful looking case. You're paying more for the bling. Yeah, sure. Some people aren't going to like the RGB. Yeah, sure. But I don't think anyone's going to complain about winning this for free. So I'm going to select a winner now for this case. And then I'm also, again, going to urge you guys, if you are interested in buying this particular case, to do so now because this is probably the lowest I've ever seen the Razor Edition of the O11 Dynamic. So swinging on over here to, I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see, bring up the giveaway raffle. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Here we go. Let me refresh this one. That way we get all the new winners in here. I try to do that every time. Add a random winner. All right, Brian J. Brian J. Your account, email account, ends in d03 at gmail.com. Mr. Brian J. You are the winner of the 011 Dynamic Razor Edition, a black tempered glass case. You get tempered glass, by the way, on the front and the left. It looks really nice. You get that Razor logo embedded in there, so it captures the light really well from that uh, front I.O. there. It's looking really good. So, Mr. Brian J., you are the winner of this one. Congratulations. I'm going to add your info to the notepad so that I am uh, keeping track here. And I'm going to put in parentheses, that's the O11 Dynamic Razor. 
I'm going to put your email in here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Congratulations, Brian. I think this is a really good case. This is one of the best-looking cases, to be honest. And in my opinion, I think this is like... Yeah, I think this is a really good case. For everyone telling me that I need to rush, I'm gonna, I need to rush and get through these things, not going to happen, so don't bother. Uh, I'm going to include your IP as well, just to make sure that we're not getting double posts here. I also go back and check these later on. All right. Congratulations one more time there, Brian J. for the O11 Dynamic Razor Edition. You can find this product as well as the rest of the stuff we're showcasing this live stream linked down below. And uh, yeah, what's next here? We have, uh, yeah, this is the Corsair Hydro Series 100X. Now look, I am gonna show you a cheaper 240 mil AIO than this, but this one is from Corsair. So if you trust Corsair, Corsair, I mean, they make some of the best AIOs in my opinion in the business. Uh, and uh, if you trust Corsair, you wanna pay a little more for that Corsair name, I don't really blame you. Uh, and this of course is gonna fit into any case that has 240 mil fan rad support. If it could support two 120 mil fans and could probably support uh, a 240 mil AIO. Anyway, this is the uh, 100X Extreme. And uh, I don't have experience with this particular one, although I am rocking the 150i in my personal rig, and uh, that's one of the reasons why I can tell you firsthand, Corsair makes some pretty awesome AIOs. And for 80 bucks, it's already a pretty good deal, right? But if you wanna throw in that mail-in rebate, I know some people, some of you don't really like to include mail-in rebates because you have to wait for your money and eh, blah, blah, blah. But $15 mail-in rebate, you will bring this thing down to 65 bucks. This is like the cheapest I've ever seen any 240 mil AIO from Corsair, uh, and it's that, that makes it one of the cheapest AIOs I've ever seen straight up. I think the cheapest I've seen so far was like $60. So I think this is a really good one for uh, 80 bucks. And again, if you want to bother, if you want to buy this yourself and throw in that $15 rebate, that brings it down to $65 net. And uh, yeah, I think it's worth considering here. You get them two Corsair SP Series 120 mil fans. Uh, actually, the mounting with these coolers is pretty straightforward as well. It's not going to be super time consuming and uh, looks really good. I'm not sure if this is an RGB one. I don't think it's RGB, but it lights up white. And in my opinion, that's like the best anyway, because white pretty much matches anything. And uh, yeah, white LED lit pump head. You can see we got a nice, beautiful copper block there. And here's all your install stuff. So you got all your long screws, short screws, you got your standoffs and uh, your cap screws and back plate, the brace. There you go, your two 120 mil fans, good to go. You guys know what this stuff is like. Anyway, I'm just showing it to you. If you wanna buy this, if you don't happen to win this particular giveaway, and then uh, you can find it linked in the video description. Here we go, I'm clicking the random winner button. Up next, we have, ooh, who's the winner? Ooh, this one's from New Zealand, interesting. JD, and JD, your, uh, let's see, your email ends in uig at gmail.com. All right, JD, you just won yourself an AIO from Corsair. Check that out. Cool. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put your info in here now. Again, same old, same old, same thing I've been doing, trying to keep track of what's been going on. Let's see, winners, text. I'm just uh, going to save this text file in case anything happens. And that's the Corsair H100X. Cool, cool. I've got your email here. Uh huh. Pepsi is scraping on the door. I'll have to let her in. I told you she's like bipolar. She likes to come in. She gets mad at me, then she leaves, and then she's happy and she misses me. And I don't know why cats do this, but anyway. Uh huh. Writing down that IP to make sure we're not getting double posts. I will check back later. And all right, congratulations. My dude JD just won himself an AIO from Corsair. Again, you can find this stuff linked in the wish list. Uh, link at the, it's kind of like in the middle of the video description. It's a little little ways below the uh, top paragraph, which explains like the terms of entry and stuff like that. So if you guys are wondering, um, you can enter via that uh, raffle copter linked in the video description. Again, you can find our wish list link. You can find our uh, Fantastech sale. Uh, permalink in there as well. If you want to just go generally shopping, you want to support us, that would be appreciated. And uh, all right, all right, here we go. Moving on to the next thing. What do we have here? What's up next? Okay, okay. One of the few graphics cards I have in this list, I don't generally promote, like I'm not going to tell you like, oh, you have to buy this RTX card because it's such a good deal. And really like, it, my, my opinion about RTX cards at this point is like, I still think that the... The ray tracing aspect of Turing is kind of like, 
it's a niche. It's it's a very strong niche, and it is something that I personally wouldn't be willing to pay much more for. So when I find RTX cards that are priced almost like cards that don't have ray tracing but that are around the same performance level, and those are the ones I want to show off. So if you're interested, I mean, this is a pretty big giveaway here. This is one of the bigger giveaways in this live stream. Just saying. Uh, but uh, this is the Gigabyte RTX 2070, uh, and I'm not sure what they're, it's just the GVN20, um, or GVN2070 WF2. I'm not sure why Gigabyte didn't like name this something specifically, maybe it is named something specific. Anyway, you have a promo code there for $50 off, that brings the price down to $429.99, if my math is correct, and I'm pretty sure it is. And uh, yeah, so I think if it's, if you can find a 2070 for around 400 bucks, that's a pretty good deal, uh, and uh, that'll give you what, kind of around 5700 XT performance, but you also get ray tracing on top of that, you get the NVIDIA drivers and a car that runs significantly cooler than at least the the uh, the stock 5700 XT from AMD. So we're actually gonna be comparing this card here to the 5700 XT very soon, the price performance analysis, talk about temps and things like that. So stay tuned for that giveaway. You also get another NVIDIA gift down here, Wolfenstein Youngblood, that's a $30 value effectively bringing this down to $400 even for just the card. So that's a pretty good deal. If you were already going to buy Wolfenstein Youngblood, yeah, and then you in include the promo code here, FANTECH14, get yourself a 2070 from Gigabyte for just, uh, yeah, for just $400. I think it's a pretty good deal for a 2070. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to swing on over. Come on, here we go. People are, oh, you guys are, you, you waiting for this one. Waiting for this one, okay. I think I'll just, uh, I think I'm gonna take a bathroom break. I'll be back later. Just kidding. Let's go ahead and click the random winner button. Let me refresh this one more time so we can get all of the uh, entrance in. And here we go. Random winner is, ooh, all right. The random winner is Daniel M. Daniel M. And uh, your address, your email address ends in n91 at gmail.com. n91 at gmail.com, Mr. Daniel. You are the winner of an RTX 2070. That's a $400 giveaway. Just like just this one product right here. And you guys can thank Newegg for that, for giving us $2,000 to give away in this live stream. So um, big thanks again to Newegg. I, haven't, I don't even know if I've said that yet, but I should have said it already. And I'm going to say it multiple times in this live stream. This live stream is sponsored by Newegg, and they gave us $2,000 to give away to you guys. So uh, that's what we're doing here. And this is one of the bigger products that I selected in the wish list. So $400, give or take, because you have that free uh, game included as well as a $50 promo code, and that'll get you an RTX 2070. So if you're on the fence about an RTX 2070 and you're waiting for prices to come down just a bit, this is a pretty compelling offer in my opinion. You can find it linked in the description. And congratulations to Daniel M for winning this beautiful card here. And uh, yeah, all right. I'm going to write that name down. It's RTX 2070. I'm going to write your email address down so I know. Let's see here. And then write the email. Make sure I type it correctly. I don't want to send this to the wrong person or I think even worse to nobody at all. And I'm going to make a note. Uh, by the way, Daniel M is from the UK, in case you guys are wondering. If you're wondering if your country is eligible for this giveaway, just click the top link in this video description. It's in that bulk paragraph up top, and it'll tell you what countries are eligible to enter. And there we go. Okay, moving on to the next thing. By the way, I'm not like, I'm not looking at the chat, but I'm assuming that at least some of the people winning here, or in here, are, uh, I'm assuming at least some of the people who are winning are still in the live stream. If you don't want to stick around for the, the live announcements, you can enter and then leave. That's fine. I understand some people aren't in the optimal time zones for this live stream. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it would be cool to see your name announced live like it, it's as immediate as possible, I guess. That's that's why I would stick around if I was you. And you get to check out some awesome deals from Newegg. I mean, come on. Why, why wouldn't you want to do that? So, yeah, I think this is a really good one. And uh, you guys should check it out. Again, one of the most expensive items in this list. Now, dropping down to, we have another AIO. This one's from Cooler Master. You can see this one's only 60 bucks. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is one of the cheapest. <coughs> I've been talking <clears throat> for, what, 20, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes? And my voice is already going out. I apologize. This is the Master Liquid Light, the ML240L. I don't, I, I think I have experience with this one. I think I was sent this one and I used it in a build. And uh, I know I use, I know it came with those fans in particular. It was a very quiet AIO and uh, it just looked very sleek. It's like straight up blacked out. 
And uh, again, like the pump is pretty quiet. The fans are really quiet. And for this price, <clears throat> I think it is a steal. Seth is asking, how do you enter? Seth, read the video description. That's why it's there. Uh, this is a 240 mil AIO. Again, it's RGB, so you can actually change, I believe, the uh, the fan LEDs as well as that front Cooler Master logo LED. And uh, let's see, let's scroll down a little ways here and see what they got. What are they, what are they offering? Kink resistant tubing. I'd really hope that your AIO tubes wouldn't kink up there. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> I'm really surprised that's a part of Co Cooler Master's uh, marketing material. You get that dual dissipation pump, so a dual, cha uh, dual chamber, I'm assuming that's what they mean, dual chamber pump, maybe, I don't know. And then I get these two uh, 120 mil RGB air balance fans included. So uh, that's cool. Oh, kink resistant tubing. Okay, so they're showing you what's inside the tubing, and then they have it, uh, of course, wrapped around, and I'm pretty sure it's a nylon. But uh, yeah, looks really good. You can see the specs there. Should fit pretty much any case that has two 120 mil fan mounts right next to each other. And we're gonna be giving it away. Here we go. I'm clicking the next one. We're gonna refresh. Gonna refresh. I'm refreshing it right now. Here we go. All right. And add a random winner. I really like this Rafflecopter website. It's pretty awesome. The next winner, the winner of this AIO is Wayne C. And Wayne C's email address ends in at rts at yahoo.com. So that's Wayne C. Email ends in rts at yahoo.com. Uh, you, Mr. Wayne, are the winner of this Cooler Master Master Liquid Light ML 240L AIO. It's kind of a mouthful, but for 60 bucks, it's really not. And uh, if you're considering an AIO and you're kind of on the fence about, eh, it's kind of a lot of money, and look, it's an AIO, so it could leak in my system. Look, I've had literally, I think, only one AIO ever leak at all. Um, and it wasn't a big leak, like it was something really small, still potentially hazardous to the rest of your components. Sure, there is a tiny bit of risk there, uh, but a lot of these bigger name brand companies have reputations to uphold, and uh, I'm not going to guarantee it's not going to leak, but it's like, it's a really, really rare thing. Most like you always hear that one horror story, and then everyone spreads that one horror story, but they ignore the fact that thousands of other people buy these coolers and have no issues at all. So there's my defense of an AIO. I mean, I know I'm not going to convince some people they're going to swear by air coolers, but it's an option, and I think 60 bucks is a really good price. So if you are, uh, again, on the fence, check out our wish list link. It'll take you to the wish list that we are navigating through right now. That's this one here, and uh, you can click it and uh, buy it if you're interested. Not sure how long some of these deals are going to last. We have more Gal Super Loose RGB RAM. I, got, I don't even know if I told you guys I was going to do this, but I had two different kits of RAM here and uh, from Guile specifically that I wanted to give away. So these right here are the same 3000 megahertz. Uh, you can see the, the, the timings here, 16, 18, 18, cast latency to 16. So uh, decent timings. Again, they're not super great. They're not in like the 15 or 14 territory at this frequency, but still gonna be decent for again, like your run of the mill Ryzen build, uh, or, or especially like Intel. I think you're gonna be just fine with really any modern Intel platform. So uh, yeah, I think it's a good, Good uh, good deal here for 62 bucks. If you're interested in, again, a kit of RAM, you don't like the, the white gal modules that I showed you earlier, I think the black gal modules look really good as well, and you still get that RGB uh, support up top. They'll sync up with ASUS Aura, in case you're wondering. So if you want to use Aura Sync and uh, get everything in your system looking nice and flashy and synchronized with your ASUS motherboard, then these modules here are for you. All right, we're going to give these away. We're just going to jump right into this one. I'm not going to drag it out. Here we go. I'm clicking the random winner button. Let me refresh real quick, get all the new entrants in there. And here we go. The random winner is Logan A. And Logan A, is his email address ends in nts at gmail.com. So Logan A at uh, email address ending nts at gmail.com. You are the winner of these Guy Super Loose RGB DDR4 modules. Congratulations, my friend. Look, if you didn't win this, and again, you're on the fence about buying memory, memory is really cheap now, especially during these deals. The Fantastic Sales has a ton of uh, modules to choose from. I think I have a few more kits of RAM in the wish list, in case you're wondering. But uh, this is a really good kit. In my opinion, I think this is like one of the better kits uh, for this price especially. So you can find it in the, the link uh, below. It takes you to the wish list. You can click on this. It'll give me a small kickback and uh, lets Newegg know that you appreciate not only the giveaway, because this is a ton of money they're giving away, but also that you, uh, yeah, you appreciate the competitive prices. So awesome. Moving on again, 
We have another B4, this is a B450 board, but this is a full size, uh, just ATX. So it's not MATX, not ITX, obviously this is a regular conventional dimension ATX motherboard from Gigabyte. And look, it's not, in my opinion, this isn't like a super, super good deal. This isn't like, a, oh, it's a $70 B450 motherboard that's like got really great power delivery. This board, by the way, has excellent power delivery uh, and uh, especially for the price. So about a hundred bucks for this. And the B450 chipset is, I mean, in many ways comparable to the X470 chipset. You're gonna still get the overclocking support. You're gonna still get, let's see, I'm not sure if you get Crossfire SLI. I'm not too sure. Um, I mean, not that it would really matter. Most of you, I imagine, aren't running two cards. I wouldn't really recommend it in the real world in practicality anyway. But uh, one of the cool things about this board is you get that onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which is cool. Uh, and you also get 7.1 audio. I'm pretty sure it's 7.1. And uh, you get the Ethernet jack back there, USB Type C, which is convenient, DVI out, as well as HDMI out if you want to run your uh, APU, so your 2400G or a 3400G, and then USB 3.0. Just remember, if you're going to pair this board with a Zen 2 chip, that you're going to need to update your BIOS. And in my experience, these Gigabyte BIOS updates for Zen 2 support have been pretty stable. So I think Gigabyte's done a pretty good job so far with the BIOS updates and uh, I wouldn't be afraid to, uh, to update it for Zen 2 support, uh, as long as you have, again, either a dud chip or Zen 1 or Zen Plus for the update, because you're going to need a CPU to boot into your BIOS in the first place. So with all that out of the way, uh, we're going to give it away. Here we go. I'm going to click the button. Let me refresh again. Here we go. Add a random winner. I'm clicking it. I'm clicking it. And the winner is William C. William C, your email address ends in A-I-L at yahoo.com. William C, that's A-I-L, that's the ending of your email address, A-I-L at yahoo.com. You, Mr. William, are the winner of, uh, this is a uh, B450 at Oris Pro motherboard. So this is a really good one. I'm actually going to ask Gigabyte to send me one of these because I want to run a lot of tests for Zen 2 on this specific board right here. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Now give me one second here. I'm going to have to take a brief pause so I can jot down the names of the last uh, few winners. I haven't been doing that. I need to catch up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There we go. And uh, what did what did Wayne win? Wayne won the RX, uh, no, RTX 2070. Wayne won the ML240L. Okay. ML240L. I got you, Wayne, and I'm gonna write down your email. Also gonna double check your IP, make sure we don't have multiple entries. And the other person was Logan A. Logan A1, what was it, the Guile DDR4 modules, right? Yep, okay. So these were the Guile Black DDR4 RGB. I have your information here. That is uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, S at the end of that. Uh huh. Jotting down your IP again, just to make sure we don't have double entries. And then one more time here for Mr. William Curtis, then we'll be caught up. Sorry for that small delay, folks. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Mr. William won the Gigabyte B450 Aorus Pro. Cool. Cool. All right, cool. And uh, gonna pop that IP in there. Uh-huh, 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 okay, all right, awesome, awesome. Okay, what do we have next on the list? By the way, if you want this board, you want something similar to this board, you can find uh, motherboards like this on Newegg's Fantastic Sale. Uh, so you can uh, click any of the links down below that'll take you to, any of the bit.ly links will take you to Newegg's website and uh, you'll be able to shop the Fantastic Sale. You can also find my specific wish list that uh, is what this is right here and you can shop these components directly. So uh, it will help me out, it'll help Newegg out, and it'll be a, a nice thank you to Newegg for the $2,000 they're throwing at us. 
All right, this is a little beefier board here. I still think this is a really good price for X470. Now look, it's, it's X470, right? It's not the newest chipset, but X470 will handle Zen 2 just fine with the BIOS update again. Uh, it's been great power delivery on this board. I really like the Tai Chi boards, and uh, I've had experience with up to the first Tai Chi board. I think it was the first Tai Chi board with X99. And uh, ever since then, I've really liked ASRock's Tai Chi boards. The X570 we actually have in the shop, and uh, we're gonna be running some tests with that in the future. But this is a $170 motherboard. So uh, yeah, I think you guys will like this one. If you don't have an AMD Ryzen CPU, uh, at least this is something you could work towards uh, or, or possibly just sell. I don't, I don't really care, again, what you do with this after you win the product, after it's shipped to you. Um, this product here is, it's, it's just gonna be a solid, reliable board. I haven't had any issues with Tai Chi boards in the past. I can show you guys rear I.O. if you are interested. So this comes with, um, this is uh, Wi-Fi. You also have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven USB 3 ports. You also have a Type-C port, which is convenient. You have HDMI out. I think this is a CMOS reset button. And then uh, you have 7.1 audio, or what looks like 7.1 audio with this board here. And uh, yeah, looks really good. It's a good looking board. Tai Chi boards always look really nice and 170 bucks. So if you're in the market for X470, again, this is a pretty future-proof platform here. You can use Zen, Zen Plus, or Zen 2 chips with this motherboard. X470 is kind of like right in the middle, so it gets to feed off of the earlier stuff as well as the newer stuff. For 170 bucks, plus a $10 rebate, in case you're interested. $10 rebate's not bad either. And uh, that will get you this board here. So 160 bucks if you enter, uh, if you buy this and throw in the rebate. All right, clicking that random winner button. Here we go. Winner is Aaron W. Mr. Aaron W. from the U.S. You are the winner of the X470 Tai Chi. Your email address ends in 770 at yahoo.com. So 770 at yahoo.com. Mr. Aaron W., you are the winner, again, of the ASRock X470 Tai Chi AM4 motherboard. A really good motherboard. And uh, I, I really like, again, the Tai Chi series is really nice. So I'm gonna jot yo info down here so that I don't forget. Uh-huh, you won the ASRock X470 Tai Chi. Okay, gonna write down your email. <laughs> your email address is funny. Uh, at yahoo.com. Make sure I spelled that correctly. Yep, okay, and I'm jotting down your IP. Make sure we don't get any double posters up in here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, there we go, okay, all right, we're good to go. Moving on now to, uh, what do we have next, what do we have next here? By the way, you can check out our wish list, link in the video description if you're interested. Next up we have, ooh, these are, some, these are really affordable modules here. And uh, look, the reason why I kind of hesitated to include this in the first place is because it specifically says Intel Z170 platform memory. Um, that doesn't mean that you only have to use this with Intel platforms though. You could use this with Ryzen and I assume you'd be fine with it. Although the timings aren't, again, super tight, uh, this is still pretty fast memory for AMD. So I wouldn't sweat it, you know, throwing this in, into a rig that had like a 3600X or a 3700X or even something like Zen Plus. Uh, this this would be a great kit for that, or even an original Zen, doesn't matter. Just, you know, depending on the board uh, and the compatibility there, you might have trouble reaching this frequency with the original Zen stuff. But uh, yeah, I think this is a really good price here. What, 53 bucks for this kit? Yeah, I'm not gonna complain at all. This is like some of the cheapest 3000 megahertz DDR4 I've ever seen. So uh, yeah, and this is really nice. Um, someone said that the link I included for seeing countries is not working, but it works for me. So if it's not working for you, I might mean that your country is not supported. I'm not sure, but that it works for me here. So I, I don't really know what to say about that. Anyway, this RAM is, uh, this is a G-Skill, what do you, how do you say this, Aegis? A Aegis? Aegis? Yeah, I think Aegis sounds right. But, uh, yeah, nice low-profile modules. Good thing about these is you can really stick these in any system, have as beefy a CPU cooler as you want, and you're pretty much guaranteed to not have any interference, at least with two optimal slots, because these modules are literally as tall as the PCBs themselves, so nothing ostentatious. Uh, would be great for some low-profile small form factor builds, and at 53 bucks, again, I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining about no $53 DDR4 at 3,000 megahertz. Ain't gonna happen, so really great for G-Skill here, and uh, good for uh, Newegg to hook this up as well. So we're gonna give this away. Let's swing it back over here to the giveaway page. Gonna refresh one more time here, get all the new entrants in. 
I'm gonna click that add a random winner button and wow, okay, we have an Austin. There is no last name with it, but your email address ends in 227 at gmail.com. So uh, if your name is Austin and you have an email address that ends in 227 at gmail.com and you entered to win something, you just won yourself a kit of a pretty affordable DDR4 modules here at a pretty decent speed from G Skill. So awesome. Congratulations, Austin. I'm going to type your name into this here. Let's see. Uh huh. Austin. I'm going to write your email. And you guys have really funny emails. Some of you, like, I wonder if you guys apply for jobs with these emails. I really hope some of you don't because these, <laughs> these emails are. Uh, questionable to say the least. I gotta let Pepsi in because she is scratching at the door. I got your IP Austin so I know that you haven't double posted. I will confirm that later and awesome. Alright, give me one sec. I'll let Pepsi in so the cat doesn't scratch the door. Come on Pepsi girl. Come on. Pepsi guy. Pepsi guy. Pepsi guy. Come Pepsi guy. Pepsi guy. Pepsi guy. I told you she's bipolar and indecisive. It's like the worst combination. Oh, okay, anyway, back to this stuff. So congratulations, Austin. You won that G-Skill Ages 16 gig kit of DDR4 modules. I think it's not bad for 50 bucks. So uh, yeah, if you want a pair of modules like this and you want them pretty fast and you want 16 gigs, which is pretty much the bare minimum I'd recommend now for most gaming rigs at around at least $600, $700 or more, then uh, this kit, is one to consider in my opinion. This is really, really cheap RAM and you can find it linked in our wish list in the video description. All right, what do we have next year? This is a dirt cheap case, but it, oh, it's a really good price. $40 for the Masterbox Lite 5. Now I actually reviewed this case in a video on the channel and uh, it's a good looking case in my opinion. Check that out. We can get, um, let's see, do you get, yeah, I, I think, I'm trying to see if you get those three fans. I'm not sure if you do. I don't think you get three fans in there, but uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna double check because I don't remember if I got it or not. Fans included. You get uh, yeah one rear 120 mil fan. Okay, cool. All right, so that's nice. Um, you get the. I think it's. I'm pretty sure it's acrylic, and that's one of the reasons why the cost is so cheap. So this is actually one of the cheapest products. Uh, on the wish list, but it's one you should consider again for budget builds. This still looks like a pretty solid case for $40, and that's why I included it. I mean, like, it's not like the Razer edition from uh, Lee and Lee, it's not the PC11 Razer or anything like that. But I wanted to have a nice, diverse list here for those who are budget oriented as well as those who are more enthusiast oriented. So, 40 bucks is a really good price. And if you don't happen to win this, but you still want the case, again, you can find it in our wish list. I am going to click the uh, random winner button here we go all right the winner is from the uk his name is samuel b samuel b and your email address ends in 990 at uh Sorry, I almost said Yahoo. 990 at hotmail.co.uk. Using rocking that Hotmail email address. Okay, okay, Sam, you're going a little old school on me. That's that's cool. And uh, I'm gonna type your info in here so that I know who to contact. And there we go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, good, good. And your IP to confirm. You don't have multiple entries. Excuse me, I will double check that later. Looking good. All right, now look, I know this is like one of the cheapest things. I wouldn't feel bad though. Even if you won this, Daniel, I think this is this is a pretty good case. So you could throw, maybe throw like a, a cheaper build into it and then flip it and you make some more cash, you know? It's, not, it's just an option. But if you want to build this for yourself, you'll have like a $600 budget or so and you don't want to spend too much on the case, I don't blame you. This is a good option. So yeah, again, you can find it linked in the video description if you are interested. Swinging on down here, we have another graphics card. This one is much more budget oriented. I showed this in the last video on the channel as well. This is a power color Red Dragon. Look, it's an RX 570. It's nothing super fancy by any means. It's a four gig card, but it'll handle 1080p games with ease for the most part in modest settings, maybe medium to high, which is plenty for most people. At 130 bucks, I think this is a really good price. This is the cheapest I've ever seen RX 570s new, although you can get them used on sites like eBay for even cheaper. Uh, when I was buying RX 570s and 80s on eBay about six to 12, 12 months ago, I was spending, I was spending about the, 
what was it, about 100, about 100 bucks, maybe a little more than that for a few RX 570s and 80s. Uh, the, the difference between 575 80s, not very much. 580s will be obviously a little bit better. Uh, but for this price, I'm not going to complain, and I highly doubt whoever wins this giveaway is going to complain, so if you're getting it for free. Plus, you get $10 off with the promo code VGAPCJP77. Then to bring this cost down to effectively 120 USD, I think 120 bucks again. Really good price for the Power Color card here. Nothing against Power Color, they still make good stuff, uh, although they might not be as popular as some of the, the um, I guess, household names like Asus and MSI and whoever else. Still a good card. And then again, Whoever wins is getting it for free, so there's that. But uh, if you're interested, you can find it linked in the wish list in the video description. We're going to go ahead and click another winner. Here he goes. Bop, bop, bop. Who won? Okay, this is someone from the U.S. His name is Robert W. Robert W., you have won. Your email address ends in L82 at hotmail.com. I'm rocking the hotmail address too. All right, we got two hotmail winners in the chat. Okay. So uh, yeah, uh, if your email address ends in l82 at hotmail.com and your name is Robert W, then you just won yourself a Power Color Red Dragon RX 570. Congratulations, my friend. And I'm going to jot down your info. Make sure that I type it correctly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's hotmail.com, not hotmail.co.uk like the last winner. Okay, cool. And all right, and I have your IP here so I can confirm that we don't have multiple entries. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, all right. All right. Here we go, folks. Moving on to the next thing. By the way, again, I'm going to say one more time because uh, I really do appreciate Newegg making this possibility. If you want to buy this card, check it out in the wish list linked in the video description. It is a good card for the price, in my opinion. This is a pair of Vengeance RGB Pro modules from Corsair, $69.99. This is going to be some of the best memory that you find. Now, the timings are eh, it's not the greatest timings, okay? It's not the greatest. This is 16 20, 20. Cast latency is 16, so slightly higher timings than some of the other modules we showed you, and they were a bit cheaper than this, but this is a name brand. This is Corsair. You're going to get a good warranty with these. You're also going to get the beautiful RGB up top. It is very, very well diffused, so you're not going to see individual LEDs at top. It's kind of like um, RGB Trident Z from G-Skill. So uh, again, Vengeance RGB Pro modules. These are typically pretty expensive, so RAMs come down quite a bit in price, and they look really good. You can see that's what they look like in a system, in case you are wondering. So uh, yeah, I think this is a really good price, 70 bucks. Again, if you're interested, check these out. If you want a name brand like Corsair or G-Skill, we have these kits linked in the video description in our Newegg Fantastic Sale wish list, if you're wondering. All right, we're going to select a winner. Here we go. Refreshing the page, get all the new winners in there. How many entries do we have, by the way? I'm curious. 4,100 and something. Okay, that's a lot of entries. Here we go. Picking a winner. John W. John W. And your Gmail address ends in OTT at gmail.com. And uh, you just won yourself a pair of Corsair Vengeance modules. Check that out, my dude. That's pretty good there. 16 gigs, plenty for most gaming PCs and the like. And uh, going to look mighty fine at the same time. So congratulations, John W. I'm going to jot down your info right now. Uh-huh. Typing that in. Let's see. I got your email. Uh-huh. It's a good email address, my friends. It's a good email address. And I've got your IP for confirmation as well as double checking to make sure we don't have double entries. I know I sound like a broken record. I'm just saying this so you guys know why I'm keeping track of it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Corsair Vengeance DDR4. Awesome. Now let me go back up here. Who was it that won the... That was G-Skill. Yep, okay. So Austin won the G-Skill modules. So let me write that down. Uh-huh. All right. We're all caught up. Going to hit Control-S. Cool. Pepsi wants in again. Let me let her in. Pepsi girl. Let me get Pepsi again. Come on, baby girl. Good girl. How you doing, Pepsi Gang? How you doing, baby? Hey, you must be nice. Hey, be nice. Hey, be nice. Hey, be nice. She wants to play. You want 
complete dump. And then she runs into her house. I put her house like right under, uh, right under my uh, desk. So she sits, she sits like right there. And then every now and then she'll stick her head out and she'll look at me and she'll try to sneak up on me and she'll pounce and then she'll retreat back into her house and do it all over again. It's cats for you. <clears throat> anyway, congratulations to John W. for winning this pair of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro modules. Really good price in my opinion, 70 bucks. Check them out in the link in the video description. All right, what do we have here? Uh-oh, our last thing. This is a pair of modules. Again, more DDR4. I figured you guys wouldn't mind this because DDR4 has been pretty expensive as of late, so it's really nice to show you some affordable modules here. These are Team Group T-Force Delta 2 RGB series modules, and they are mighty fine for the price, in my opinion. I really like Team uh, team Group modules. I've, I've worked with Team Group many times in the past. I think they make really good stuff. Some of my personal rigs have used Team Group DDR4, and I haven't had an issue to date, even with the storage, um, with the uh, permanent storage drives that they sell. Um, and I'm actually using two Team Group M.2 NVMe drives in my RAID 0 config for my personal rig, and that RAID 0 config is held up just fine. So uh, I'm 100% behind Team Group, and I would I would be perfectly fine um, mixing them up with some of the uh, more household names like Corsair again and G-Skill. So they make really good stuff. If you guys have owned Team Group stuff, you know that. I'm not being paid to say this. Team Group doesn't know I'm including their stuff. None, none of these companies do. I just uh, wanted you guys to know that's how I felt about this company and these products. So 60 bucks for this. Really good price. It's DDR4 3000. And this is going to be the last giveaway raffle. So if you haven't entered yet, click that link in the video description. It tells you what to do. If you're wondering how you enter, read the description. It's there for a reason. And uh, great. Okay. Awesome. You guys, I'll give you a second to enter if you haven't already. And then I'll refresh. This is the last one, the last giveaway. We've given away 17 things so far, I believe. I think we have 18 things in total in our basket, in our uh, wish list. So yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. It's going to be a lot of emails after this. Oh, we're going to have so much admin to do, and then I'm going to have to find what we're going to do, what we talked about with, uh, with Newegg. I haven't, I don't think I elaborated on this too much in the description, but we were kind of working out some of the finer details last minute. Um, Sean, you guys are asking, how do you enter? It's all in the description. It's all in the description. Read the description, and uh, you'll be entered. I mean, that's really it. I'm waiting for you guys to enter if you haven't yet for this last one. Uh, but anyway, we talked to Newegg and they told us that what we're going to do is I'm going to handle the U.S. giveaways myself. So what I'm going to do is use my own Newegg account. I'm going to send you guys who live in the U.S. your stuff, right? Um, so it's just going to be like a reimbursing. So I'm going to pay for it out of pocket and then Newegg will reimburse me what we mail out uh, for the U.S., um, I'm not going to give you like the, the overnight shipping. Screw that. It's going to be too expensive. Sorry, guys. You have to wait a little bit for your stuff, but it's free stuff. So I, I wouldn't complain if I were you. And then the international winners, uh, if you live in either like the UK or the uh, France, Germany, where, whatever countries were in that global list that I showed you earlier in the live stream, uh, then what you're going to win basically uh, is a gift card or gift card equivalent from Newegg. So you'll be able to spend that money uh, on Newegg uh, in your respective country. And you, you can really pick whatever you want. You don't have to pick the stuff that you want here, but you'll get the equivalent price of that item uh, from Newegg. So uh, that's how we're going to work it out. I'm not sure how perfect this is going to be, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, let's see. I'm getting a lot of Fs here. Did I miss something? <laughs> I, I feel like I missed something. We're getting a bunch of Fs. What happened? What happened? Hey, I don't think, maybe it has nothing to do with me. I don't know. Yeah, I know it's a way to pay respect, but I don't know what for. Like, who? what happened to this? Is this something that happened? Anyway, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, we're going to be swinging on over here to the final tally. This is the last giveaway winner for these team group modules here. And here it goes. Clicking on it now in three, two, one. Winner is... John S. John S. And his email address ends in 911 at gmail.com. You, sir, are the final winner of this fantastic sale giveaway, sponsored by Newegg, of course. And uh, you just won a $60 pair of T Force Delta 2 RGB modules. Congratulations, John. I appreciate that. So, for those who want and for those who want to stick around and hear this, uh, what we're going to do again is uh, I'm going to mail personally from my Newegg account the US winners their stuff. 
And then uh, if you live in some other country, something other than the US, uh, and you are eligible to win, which I'm gonna confirm, then uh, they're gonna send you a Newegg gift card equivalent. I believe that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so if you're wondering, that's the MO, that's the process, and we're gonna be, yeah, we're, we're, we're just gonna, I don't, <laughs> I'm gonna try to do all this today and tomorrow. I, I don't know how quickly it's gonna run. I have to email every one of you and ask for your email or for your address, at least every US person. So that's gonna take some time, but uh, yeah. All right, you guys are awesome. And I do appreciate your patience. I appreciate the interest. And look, I know if you didn't win, I'm so sorry, rip, 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 right, I know. Uh, but we gave away 18 things and that's a pretty pretty good number. And uh, this of course was made possible by Newegg, so I appreciate that. Be sure to click the links in the video description will take you to my wish list. You can find these deals on Newegg's website as well as the, uh, well, not the giveaway and the link anymore, but uh, the other stuff that you can find from Newegg is linked down below as well. If you just want to shop a fantastic sale and uh, give me a small kickback, that would be awesome. You guys are awesome viewers. I appreciate it. I know you're probably, if you didn't win anything, you're probably a little let down, uh, but uh, we had more odds here. I think the odds were higher for this giveaway video than really any other giveaway we've ever hosted. And the reason why that was possible, again, was because of Newegg. So uh, if you are wanting to shop uh, and you want to find good deals, uh, then um, I'm sure Newegg would appreciate it. It would help me as well on my end. Uh, if you guys check out some of the stuff they have listed. Again, all that stuff linked down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will contact the winners very soon. Yeah, I didn't really come up with a unique intro for this video. I guess I'm just going to click the end button and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. We're going to be announcing the giveaway winners for the uh, Gigabyte and Enermax giveaway in the next official video on the channel. So stay tuned for that. You guys are awesome. Again, I'll catch you in that video.